bike turn indicator turn indicator lights also known as directional indicators or flashes are an essential part of all automobiles they inform other road users our intent to turn left or right there are several regulations and standards that manufacturers must comply with while designing and integrating turn lights on a vehicle in this video we will learn how to design a bike turning indicator circuit These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple 5 timer IC, 8 pin IC base, 47 kilo ohm resistor, 4 1 kilo ohm resistors, 10 microfarad capacitor, 1 red LED, 2 yellow LED, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 SPDT slider switch, 1 0 PCB four screw with nuts and four plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit this is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project this is a power supply indication led this is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three modes, monostable, A-stable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in A-stable mode. So at the output we will get the high and low pulses. On and off time of LED can be increased or decrease. By changing the value of this capacitor and resistor, we have connected a SPDT slider switch at the output pin of IC. When we slide the switch towards left, then left LED connects with the output of IC, and starts blinking. When we slide the switch towards right, then right LED starts blinking. When we keep the switch in the middle position, then both LED turns off. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer, now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. We will make a hole. For the slider switch, this is a SPDT slider switch, and it has three pins. The middle pin internally connects to the right pin. When we push the throttle to the right, middle pin internally connects to the left pin. When we push the throttle to the left, now we will solder the 8 pin IC base.
Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the yellow LED. Now we will solder the SPDT slider switch, and make its connections with the other parts. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive, and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery. To test our project, we are using a slider switch to operate the circuit. When switch is pushed towards the left, then left LED starts blinking. And when the switch is pushed towards the right, then right LED starts blinking. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, 
Regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.